more often. Covering the nation and the world, you're waking up with Newsnet, Morning Edition. Good morning and thanks for waking up with the Newsnet Morning Edition. I'm Ramin Tudorandaz. Coming up, we'll take a look at the news from across the country and around the world, including President Trump starting the new year off with an old tune, blasting Democrats for not supporting his border wall, as some essential federal workers sue the government for making them work with no pay. And an American citizen has been detained in Russia on accusations of spying. Plus, Chicago police are reporting that 2018 saw significantly less murders than 2017. Also, rescue workers responded to a major pileup in Austin, Texas, just after midnight on New Year's Day. The NASA's New Horizon spacecraft has accomplished its mission exploring an object at the far reaches of our solar system. I will have the details on these stories and others, but first, here is a look at our top story. We are Newsnet, and we're ready to be your news source for news. But who are we? Jessica Mojine explains in this, our very first report. Introducing Newsnet. After months of development, America's newest 24-hour news channel has launched. In fact, you're watching it right now. This is Newsnet, but who are we and what should you expect? Viewers should expect, you know, a, a no frills, straight to the headlines uh, presentation of the news. What they should not expect is panels, people bantering over uh, their opinion on an issue. Newsnet President Eric Watilla says people have often approached him to complain about the current state of TV news. He believes the demand for a straight to the point news channel has never been greater. People are sick and tired of turning on the news and seeing people shouting at each other. And with Newsnet, we are bringing back that classic form of news, just a news wheel, just an anchor presenting the headlines, where you can tune in any time and get the news without having to listen to banter. Watilla contends that the response has been positive and that he sees continued growth moving forward. What we're already hearing from uh, people across the country is, hey, why isn't this in my market yet? And we are working on that. Our big goal for 2019 is to continue to grow our affiliate network. We want to be over the air eventually in 100% of the country. But no matter where or how you watch us, we want to welcome you. Reporting for Newsnet, I'm Jessica Mojonier. President Donald Trump started the new year off with an old tune blasting Democrats for not supporting a border wall, as some essential federal workers sue the government for making them work with no pay. Natasha Chen explains how a new Congress plans to end this partial shutdown. It's a new year. With